Hey guys, Draper here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Ye earlier today, not yesterday, as I was about to say, earlier today, we, um, we beat Phantom Ganon, the Demon King's Phantom Saboteur. to get back to uh, <laughs> uh, grabbing shrines and stuff. You know how it goes. Before we go to our sixth main story objective, we need to get everything that I require of myself. So, you know. Uh, there probably aren't many light routes left, unfortunately. I can't go here. Uh, so there really isn't much left for me to do. Honestly, if there aren't enough light routes, I may just let myself go on regardless. And get more light routes next time. Just for the sake of, you know, actually progressing the story. But I should have enough. I should. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to stop. Uh, Sifting my way through the depths. I also need to grab a few memories. Well then. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So, how did it go? Hmm. I see. So, do, so, to summarize, there's no mistaking what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imprisoning War. Yes. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. The reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so that the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. Uh. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all been happening because the Demon King came back. Mm. So that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here? Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Mm. Yes, we should consider that to be the, possi the case, bizarre as it sounds. Else seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Hmm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Aww. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. She can't be here to fight with us either. Aww. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Hmm, based on what you each have told me, it appears that the, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Oh. Right you are! We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act. Hmm, hmm. but without any leads. Hmm. Oh! Wait! You said that six sages with 
were with King Raro when he fought against the Demon King during the Imprisoning War, right? Wind? Fire? Water? Lightning? And time, that was the princess. Oh! Wow. I see. Huh? What is it? What do you see? Huh. That's it! There was one more sage back then! Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. Sure, I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well worth well, worth our while to search. Ah. Each of you awakened to sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. Mm. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. They're as good a place as any to start. If we ser just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the sage. Ah. All right, we have a plan. Let's split up the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. I mean, I know exactly where the next sage is. Right then. How many... How many of these do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 40, 42. Okay, so I only need a few more. I have an idea. Then I'm gonna have to check uh, how many shrines I have. Some who still pay me homage. homage. You don't say. You can hear my voice. Yeah. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. Dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains at a s as a statue in, the, in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. But that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company. And finally, here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. I am sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I've dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. You give it back. <laughs> Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. 
Give me a heart. Thank you, I just needed that back. Alright, that's one. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life, they're all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then you first must sell me either Thai crescent for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, I know that you may tr know that you may choose your heart journey with the park healing or stamina festival. Alright. broke the wall and angered the demon and I'll be paying with for it with my life Robbie Grante goodbye forever <laughs> you what you went inside the hole did you find the demon is is this goodbye for me wait a demon statue was in there you say I know a bit about those want to know what I know of course <laughs> dealing in life and power touched by the wrath of the goddess fall into ruin and that must mean the horned statue is an empty entity who deals in life and power which would make the deus the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Mm. So the voice I so the voice I heard was the forlorn horned statue. As there is the goddess of light, then it follows that she would have an opposite, the horned god. Like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Ah. Locking a hole in the wall? That was fate, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area spick and span. Yeah. Oh, and thanks, you know, take this. <laughs> It's Robbie's spending allowance for next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Right, time to settle the old nerves and get back to it. Okay. Uh, and we only need one more. And I know exactly where to go for it. Right, how many shrines do I have? Uh, there's... I need 114. I have 99. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab a few more shrines, actually. For once, I, I th think I've kind of been slacking with that. Thankfully, I know a few. Thanks to my uh, travels to the depths. Colton or Kilton. I'm back. Yeah. How about this picture? Where's the good picture I took of one? <laughs> That's it exactly! That is the horror that I adore! Oh, now this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference and I can make the sculpture, no problem. <laughs> May we borrow it? Of course. Alright, just leave it to me. I'll have it made. Son and done. Mm-hmm. Quality, blink and we're done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Son and done, as promised. Hi! <laughs> Why, this monster sculpture is more impressive than I dreamed possible! It was nothing. That was weird. Now, would you find the most perfect spot for this sculpture on the stage over there, please? I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh. Pretty sure I said I can. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I've so. Yeah, yeah. I have perfect spot for this dude. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. I found a nice spot for it. What? What did you say? <coughs> oh! Oh! 
It looks so natural here and so realistic too. It's as if we've stumbled on a monster's lair. Yes, it's exactly what I was hoping for. You know, I could swear I see the wind ruffling its coat. Yes! Now we must put it in front of every face in the village. I need 15 more shrines. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Come, look, see. I present to you a new species of monster called the Horribling. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place! Ma. Ooh, a new species? <laughs> Ahem! This sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them! Once again, this monster is the lovable Horriblin. This new monster was discovered in caves created by the upheaval. <laughs> what a stylish monster it is! See how its colorful hair sprouts from its tough skin. You feel the urge to reel out it and ruffle its locks, don't you? Yes, I feel that very same feeling so very much. And yet, it might be best to keep your hands to yourself, if you want to keep your hands at all, that is. <laughs> it is rather stylish. <laughs> Look and learn, then you will take. Understand what you feel, what you fear, and you'll feel great. To those with an open mind, wonders always await. Honestly, this is a wholesome conclusion <laughs> to Kilton's story from the first game. Guess I really didn't do much of it in Breath of the Wild, but... Thank you, thank you! Again, I find myself in your debt! Please allow me to give you a gift to show my gratitude! Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Been a while since I've been this excited about making stuff. Yeah. Why, if those aren't the exact words I wanted to fall into, I guess. I well, would hope if you got better at, you know, describing monsters. Hmm. Or maybe somebody will bring us another picture of a monster. Oh. Yeah, but it would be a big help if somebody... <laughs> it would mean a lot if I could see a picture of Madison in Gerudo Town. Hmm. Uh, never mind me. I should probably try to focus on work right now. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. I've got to admit I'm feeling pretty inspired. First off, I do want to do... Hang on. Sorry, but no. Got no answer in mind. Battle Talus, okay. I know that this is one of the ones he wants. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if I'll have to do this again once I actually get to it, but... Alright, I'll get a picture of Ballot, uh, Battle Talus whenever I get the chance. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you one. Just wanted to knock this out of the way. No! <laughs> ah! Stop! Stop, I say! Stand up! God damn it! Right, this way. There we go. Uh, I don't have any Battle Talus pictures, I don't think. But I would like to make a um, picture of one more specific monster. Go ahead. I 
just wanted to look at this. You can't just destroy that? I didn't mean to talk to you again, I was gonna move it. Damn it. Okay. Honestly, I think I could probably knock the rest of these out now. Oh, I knocked over the Picoblin. Whoops. I'll just have him off to the side there. Alright, so if I said one of my No, I travel over here. There's a battle talus for me to take a picture of. Somewhere over here. <laughs> Somewhere. That, uh, placing down that travel medallion did remind me though, I do need to go back to that one spot. Okay, so why were they not fine with Gloom when they were getting... Or when they were battling, but as soon as the Gloom is just on the ground normally. Hi. Right, this one has a... I'll take all this amber. Honestly. Don't think I got any bomb flowers out of that though. They all exploded. Oh well. That's what I wanted. I just realized I forgot something in the castle.
All right. The thing I completely forgot to do was this. about this but what's underneath the um, great fairy fountains in the depths nothing okay <laughs> good to know all right now I've got the full outfit nice all right let's up get upgrade the uh, champions leathers I'm going to be doing a lot of fast traveling around here, honestly. Enhance <coughs> away. Okay. I'll get back to it. It's all right. Little annoying. But hey, at least I've got the full look. A little less defense, but I don't mind that. All right, let's do this. Uh, so I need 15 more shrines. There's one I can get around here, and I'm gonna grab that one first. And then I'll zip around high real fast traveling to grab some of the others. First ones I'm gonna grab are the ones that I saw from Hyrule Castle. Or next ones I'm gonna grab. Yeah. How about this picture? Oh, whoops. How about this picture? Um, um, here it is. <laughs> hey! Of course. spot for it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here ye come, look see. This is a battle talisman creature sure to shock you when you first meet it. But do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a monster up close. The only place. Monster? Looks like a pile of rocks. Ahem. 
The sight of stolen your eyes, now give me your ears, all of them. Once again, this enchanting monster is a battle, doubtless. The body that looks like it's made of rock, looks made of rock. Doesn't mind that other monsters climb around and build their nests upon it. It's a generous monster, you see, both in the size of its body and the size of its heart. <laughs> Don't you wish to, you... Don't you wish you, too, could live on top of it? At the very least, I bet you wish you could give it a hug. I know I do. Sadly, they aren't known for enjoying such emotional outpourings. So it's best if you give them a wide berth. Aww. Aww, I wanted to try to ride on one. zip -za. <laughs> Look and learn, then you will hate. Understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the stage has gotten so very busy, and it's all thanks to you. Please take this gift as a sign of my gratitude. Hmm. Ah, and take this as well. Yeah, yeah. Got a monster in mind? Frocks. Okay. I got a picture of a frox. <laughs> this is it. This is the frox I've been desiring. May we borrow it? Go ahead. Done and done, as promised. Yeah. <laughs> it was nothing. Huh. You're selling yourself short. <laughs> I found a nice spot for it. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, oh, I'm stunned, stunned. I prance around in all fours, but I'm stunned. Oh, look at me. My legs are all wobbly with excitement. Vivid, so vivid. This is a frox. And made so tastefully. It's just as perfect as I dreamed it would be. True, it looks so real. I'm even a little worried it might take a snap at me. <laughs> yes, now let's put it before every face in the village. Hear ye, hear ye. Come, look-see. This is a ra the rarely sighted frox. But do not fear. Draw near. This is the only place you can admire, safely admire such a monster up close. The only place. Good goodness me. Who knew monsters got that big? <laughs> Ahem, this sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears. All of them. Once again, this monster with a foreboding look is called a frox. Gobbles up all it sees. And sees all that it wants to gobble. Oh, but if it saw you, you'd be into its mouth and down its gullet in no time at all. And yet, your on its back twinkles and sparkles in the dark depths of the earth. It must be quite mesmerizing. I'd love to put my eyeballs upon it just once, but no, I don't suggest you try it. it could be the last thing your eyeballs ever see. <sighs> God has save us all. <laughs> Look and learn, then you will hate, understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One more. Got a monster in mind. Hmm? Oh, okay. <laughs> Behold, the king of the sky! Uh, to think we c that we can stand here unharmed by beside such a thing. What a thrilling thrill for one to feel! Crafted with such good taste, too, I see. It's everything I hoped it would be. I know it's a sculpture, of course, still. Even I'm surprised at how imposing it is. <laughs> yes! And now we must show it to all the eyeballs in the village! Come, 
come, look see. This is it, the monster, the most monstrous of all monsters, the King Gleok. But do not fear, draw near. This is the only place it's safe to admire such a monstrous royal up close. The only place. Uh, it is nothing short of astonishing. It has three, three heads. Uh, what would I, what would I do if I ran into something like this? I hope I never find out. <laughs> Ahem, this side is still in your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. I say again, this monster is the fearsome King Gleok. Fire, ice, lightning powers possessed by plenty of monsters, but our noble friend here is unique. He controls all three elements at the same time. Well, it looks like a beast from a book of stories. I warn you not to dream of meeting it in the flesh. If you were to come face to triple face with this monster, arriving home alive would be quite unlikely. Remember, please, reckless adventurers should beware and keep away. Just seeing this one here is plenty frightening for me. <laughs> Look and learn, then you will take. Understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. But those with an open mind, wonders always await. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Introducing the King Gleok to everyone. What an honor. Please allow me to reward you for all you've done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, my dream is nearly complete. Which <laughs> monster? Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Do I have any pictures that I want to use? Uh, no. Already used. Well, something similar. Can't do that one for some reason. There's a Gipto. King Gleok. Oh, Marble Goma. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maha! Just look at that magnificent work. This must be put on display too! Go ahead and decorate the stage with it as you see fit! Off to the side here should be fine. Alright. I'm done here. If I didn't have the spear, it would be a lot better to look at here. Okay. Now then, um, we still have more to do. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. make it easier to fly or to uh, get that stone over the shrine. to go back to horse riding. Well, I think I was going to try to get every unique horse. Might have to do that soon. Well. Alright, here we go. That's not good. Um. Oh, it's back there now. Why is it? Okay, fine. Um. Front then. 
Pull up, pull up, pull up. Link. Okay, back it up. Now. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Link, link, link. Yeah! Okay, and it's... Yeah, right over there. Look at that. Look at how much battery I have now. Okay. You know about you are you are useless right now. Pretty standard. <laughs> it happens. I'm almost out of time today. I didn't even realize. Um, well, hey, this is the first shrine of uh, of many. <laughs> How many light roots do I have as well? Uh, I think. I need 90. I have 79, so I need 11 more light roots. That. Uh, I should be able to find enough. And again, I don't have to find enough as I, I... I'm going to try to get enough. There are a few areas that are currently off limits to me, though. So if I can't get anything, then uh, that's alright. Okay. Fourteen more shrines. And eleven more light roots. And a few more memories. Speaking of which, uh really quick, I need to head back to the Forgotten Temple. I forget which memories I need to grab. I guess I could grab them later, uh after checking. I don't remember how many I needed to grab, though, before uh, I head to the next story area. saw this place in the memories. And there's Sonia's grave. Always growing more Sunderlions. Okay. So we watched the memories up to there. I think that's the only one we need to grab. And that's at the lake, right? There would be the lake, I'm, I'm assuming. Honestly, this mini model of Hyrule is interesting. I mean, for one thing, um, it shows that the 
all of Central Hyrule is, or a lot of Central Hyrule at the very least, was kind of flooded. This is the modern day castle, but uh, where's the Great Plateau? Yeah, the Great Plateau is still here, that's where his castle would have been. That was before the Dueling Peaks were split in half. Mount Lanero. Oh, right, I keep forgetting that they're there. <laughs> I keep forgetting about them. <laughs> There's Great Hyrule Forest. A tear with a tear. Alright, anyways, uh, now that I know what I need to grab, back to Hyrule Castle. To grab a couple of things. In order to set myself up to grab a few shrines next time and maybe a few light roots as well again a lot of these next few episodes will be me zipping around Hyrule uh, fast traveling so uh, <laughs> sorry in advance but anyways that's about it for now and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>